The Rise of Sustainable Architecture, Green Building Design and Technology The current state of society has increased the need for environmentally conscious architecture and interior design. The growing need for environmentally responsible architectural practices is being driven by several different forces. A severe climate change is expected in the future. There is a growing awareness among people everywhere of the dangers posed by fossil fuels, and there is a growing appreciation for the importance of reducing our economic and environmental footprints. A survey conducted by 2021 MasterCard found that 58% of persons around the world are becoming more aware of the impact they have on the environment, and 85% of those surveyed claim that they are willing to take personal action to tackle environmental concerns. This curiosity has also been shown to have a growing impact on the success of businesses. The same survey found that 62% of respondents believe it is more necessary now for businesses to act in more eco-friendly ways. In response to the rising need for environmental action, organizations have been looking for innovative and forward, thinking solutions to assist reduce the impact of a variety of environmental problems. They were able to accomplish this by implementing forward, thinking environmentally friendly architectural and design strategies that, over time, can result in a beneficial change. What does green design even mean? Green design, also known as sustainable design or green architecture, is a kind of interior design that incorporates environmental advocacy into the physical components of a building. The utilization of alternative energy sources, energy conservation, and the recycling of materials are all fundamental components of green architecture. Certain ideas have a direct bearing on architectural design. For instance, architecture that is either underground or earth, sheltered can organically assist control the climate of a building, which can lead to reduced energy consumption. What does it mean to environmentally friendly design buildings? The reduction of a building's overall influence on the surrounding environment is the primary goal of green design. To accomplish this objective, organizations are looking to pioneering building solutions that can aid in the preservation and restoration of the planet. Systems for both heating and cooling The use of solar and thermal energy as sources of heating and cooling are starting to garner more attention. These approaches are high impact design methods that can not only be included in newly built structures but can also be used to retrofit structures that are already in existence. The threshold for implementing these techniques is relatively low. There is an immediate need for creativity and originality in this sphere. According to MIT Technology Review, energy demands for cooling are anticipated to treble by the year 2050. If conventional methods continue to be employed at the rate they are today, irrevocable damage could be made to the ecosystems of the Earth, and eventually, an economic calamity will arise. According to the findings of Earthship Global, a company that designs and constructs eco-friendly living spaces, the requirement for traditional air conditioning and heating systems may be completely eradicated if structures are constructed in such a way as to maximize the utilization of sunshine and thermal mass objects. Bricks constructed of materials such as earth, concrete, or stone are examples of these dense building materials that are capable of absorbing and storing heat energy. Other examples of these materials include concrete. Thermal mass building materials, when carefully positioned, have the potential to absorb the sun's heat energy during the day and then release it during the night, so helping to maintain a consistent temperature within a building. The use of fossil fuels for heating and cooling is something that is being worked on by businesses and research centers all around the world. These businesses and centers are creating methods that could successfully harness thermal and solar energy. Water Water collection is an age-old technique that, on a fundamental level, continues to be one of the simplest and most effective sustainable strategies that are now available. Water collection systems can be as basic as a trough for collecting rainwater and a barrel for storing it, or they can be as complex as cisterns and filtration systems that are powerful enough to supply big buildings with water that has been filtered and kept at the appropriate temperature. Companies from all around the world are coming up with novel approaches to the collection and filtering of water, to make the process more efficient, user-friendly, and cost-effective. Think Sustainable Lab, a startup firm in India has invented a suspended water collection system that not only filters collected rainwater but also doubles as a solar energy harvester. This gadget was built by the company. Consumers, 
organizations, and construction companies can find help from associations such as the American Rainwater Catchment Systems Association ARCSA, and others when they implement water harvesting systems into their building designs and constructions. Materials Utilizing natural and recycled materials offers several benefits, including a reduction in waste, a decrease in a project's material costs, and a reduction in the environmental costs that are necessitated by the production of new materials. Innovative architects and builders are repurposing a wide variety of resources, from reclaimed wood and other building materials to recyclable abandoned goods like glass and plastics, in the construction of a wide variety of architectural structures. According to a survey by Earthship Global, there are currently 2.5 billion automobile tires that have been dumped and are accessible for repurposing in the United States alone. Tires are used in the construction of three or four of the walls of every one of Earthship's eco-friendly living spaces. Reusing materials is a great way to reduce waste and contribute to long-term sustainability. The possibilities for doing so are practically limitless, much like creative potential. Management of Waste and Water Treatment Facilities Due to the complex chemistry and biological processes that are required to remediate contaminated water, many confined sewage treatment techniques require more advanced design measures. These steps are required. In contrast, water purification methods that make use of natural processes are frequently found to be less complicated and more environmentally friendly than those that rely on complex chemical reactions. To restore contaminated water to a state where it may be used, one of the most efficient methods is to use plants and aquatic life forms to naturally strain, filter, and purify the water. To sustainably treat sewage or gray water and provide confined water treatment systems for residences, designers have made use of algae, natural filtration materials such as earth and sand, ponds, and open air storage receptacles that support the growth of water plants and fish. These ponds and open-air storage receptacles are all located outdoors. These self-contained, natural water filtration technologies may become increasingly widespread not only for individual living areas but also for bigger constructions. Food Production of food through conventional methods can be extraordinarily inefficient in many parts of the world today. The production of meat is a completely inefficient sector due to the significant amount of resources that it demands, and large percentages of agricultural products are utilized to support it. According to the United Nations Environment Program, the number of livestock animals increased by a factor of three between 1970 and 2011, and grazing now accounts for around 60% of all agricultural land. If our planet's current system for producing food does not undergo a significant overhaul, industry experts predict that our species will soon face catastrophic food shortages due to the high costs of shipping food around the world, the waste that is produced as a result of intensive food industrialization, and the significant distances that separate production from consumption. Helping the globe reclaim its food resources and preventing large-scale calamities in the coming decades can be accomplished by increasing the amount of locally produced food that is consumed, reducing the amount of beef that is consumed, and consuming seasonal foods rather than shipping them over long distances to make them available all year round. Design Integrated building processes are more forward-thinking building design processes than traditional building design processes because they involve a wider variety of stakeholders in the planning, design, and construction phases of new developments. The concept of green building design is not only a passing trend. It is an entirely new method of development that takes into account, not just the final objective of a single organization, but also the natural setting as a whole. The first step in shifting away from the practice of burdening our environment and toward the integration of new designs into an ecosystem that is already in existence is to take into account the requirements of a variety of ecosystems during the design process. So this is the end of our today's video. Do you like it? Share your precious thoughts with us in comments section below and subscribe to our YouTube channel.